Hi guys, and welcome back to the another Let's Play Romulan Republic. So, just a little recap. We went to the Silbon system to find some more refugees that made their way there. Along the way, we did pick up a science officer. From there, we went to uh, Craterus and to find and re recruit the Romulans, or not Romulans, uh, Remans, that are over there. Unfortunately, what happened is that the Tal Shiar were there, they attacked, the colony was destroyed, its people taken. However, in the process, we have saved what little we could. We saved the Riemann ships that were there, and what in the world? Okay. Anyways, we saved what ships we could over there, and we gained an engineer out of it. Unfortunately, it is one of the victim's daughters that actually is our engineer. As troubling as that may be, our journeys of woe is still yet to end. And you're just probably wondering, what the hell just happened? Well, that's an actual glitch of having a sh two ships in the same space that just doesn't accolade right. That's pretty much about it. Yeah, even for me, that's weird. Alright. Our next task is Gasco Blues. The objective, there is a space station in the Gasco system that we think will be a fine addition to our group. If they agree to join us, we will have an additional base for our militia ships, as well as a supply depot that could make a big difference when we begin construction of a colony. I know there is a group of refugees there, some of them have been there for years. But they also have a wave of new residents, including a new commander. I'd like you to go to Gasco and feel out the situation. If you think they be a, a good match for us, you're authorized to extend them an offer. We get another bridge officer, this time another science. Okay, let's go. Thank you. Yes, let's go ahead and head over there. Gasco is... Oh, there it is. Way over there. You have to zoom in in order to see that. Okay. We are going over there. Uh, changes to the game in general and the ship and character. Not really much of changes. I have, however, changed up a few items on my ship. Or at least in my inventory. Not really much of change. Everyone's still in their regular uniforms and, and gear. So there's not really much of a change to anyone. The ship itself is still the same equipment as I had put in from last time. So hopefully things would be better okay we are now at the system uh, let's read off the description for it Gasco system in the late 22nd century the region around Gasco was hotly contested by the Klingon Empire and the Romulan Star Empire the Romulans built a space station there to solidify their claim and maintain a small fleet at the site for the next half century at the after the Klingons allied with the Federations, the region's strategic importance waned and the Romulans abandoned the station. It was repopulated by a small group of refugees after the destruction of Romulus in 2387. Well then, let's go ahead and drop out of warp. We've entered the Gasco system. According to our intelligence data, the Empire built this station in the late 23rd century, but abandoned it later when the region was no longer strategically important. Word is, some refugees are living in the station now. You know the drill, right? Go to the station, preach the good news, get them on our side. Easy. Oh, of course it is. Let's hope so.
Getting darker codes now, they open their channel. Put them on. Uh, RRW Impavidas, you are cleared for docking. Let's dock at the station. This mission requires all four of us. How lovely. Yeah, welcome to the Gasco station. Our commander has assigned uh, Tobol to escort you while you're here. Please speak to him when you're ready to leave the transporter room. Very well. So you are Tobol. Tobol, I think. Yeah, whatever. Good to have you here. We heard about you from people who live at the old Suvon Helix. The station commander has requested that I escort you to his office. Are you ready to go? Actually, can we talk to some of the colonists first? I don't see anything wrong with that. You should know, however, the colonists here are happy w with the way things are. You'll have a hard time trying to convince them of your cause, but you're welcome to try. Um... Well, before we go, do you know a Rihanna Keeve? Rihanna Keeve? Uh, no, there is no one by that name on the station. Thank you. Let's talk to the colonist. All right. That's yeah, very nice. Oh, there's a colonist. You're crazy. You think I think anyone wants to fight a Tal Shiar? Look, I'm a doctor. I'm not interested in this war, especially... Uh, I didn't read it. Oh well. The colonists here aren't eager to fight the Tao Shiar. Why would they be? You might have better luck talking with the uh, commander of the station, though. He has more backbone than most of the people around here. We'll go through engineering. That's the quickest way to the administration area. Very well. Just had to make sure they were still going. Let's go to engineering. Yeah, people is going to talk about that. They don't exactly like the idea of fighting. Huh, some weird things happening. Okay. Again, I understand what's going on, and... You have to help me, please. Sorry, yawn. You're going to the administration level, right? I think my brother is being held down there. His name is Hyven. Hyven? Hyven? Eh. He wasn't doing anything wrong. He talked back to one of the new guards yesterday. Then he was thrown in the prison. You have to help him, please. Uh, Tabal, is this true? His brother was making insane accusations and causing trouble. He kept saying that one of the guards was with the Tao Shiar. That guard's entire family was killed by the Tao Shiar, Lieutenant. He didn't appreciate it. And a fight broke out. Both the guard and his man's uh, brother are in the brig. If you'd like, you can visit them after you're done talking to the commander. Eh, that sounds good. Let's keep moving. Ah, clogged up nose. The commander's office is just ahead. Ah, thank you. This is it. Well, it is the commander's area. Didn't really change much. Ah, here's the commander. Commander Adar. Welcome, Lieutenant Zanel. It is good to meet you. I've heard much about the town's fleet and their fight against the Tal Shiar. I know you're here to offer us a chance to help, but perhaps there's a counter-offer a counter you'd be willing to hear. 
a counter offer. So good to see you again, my friend. It's time for us to talk. Ah, son of a surprised. You've been one step ahead of the Tal Shiar, but now your time has run out. Gasco Station belongs to us. Soon the Helix will be ours as well. Your little rebellion is coming to an end. I hope you enjoyed your tour of the station. You and your friends are going to be here for a very long time. We'll see about that, asshole. Oh, let's see here. Don't resist, Lieutenant. Make this easier on all of us. You and your crew will spend some time in our brig. But if you do as you are told, you could be released. Maybe even work for the Tao Shiar. There is no reason for there to be any more violence today. The Tao Shiar just want to help us. If you choose to defy us, I will be forced to order my men to fire. Oh, you're a man who literally has no choice. Just come with us. The Tao Shiar are wrong. They're doing things absolutely horrible. Besides... They're dicks, even to their friends. As much as I would like to believe you, what hope does the town have? You and your group have no government, no real laws, no place to live. The Tao Shiar can give me and my people all that and more. I ask you one last time, stand down and Odin will get hit. Hit it? <laughs> Hurt. I can't do that, Adar. I won't stop fighting. Prisoners, and then get out of here. Ah, I'm not gonna kill him. But Tovan's right. We should go ahead and free the prisoners. This is the prison area. Oh. Lovely. Oops. Ow. All right. With the Tons group, I heard about you. My name is Haven. I'm the only one left who will stand up at what is right. And look where it got me. The, the Tao Shiar took over this station a few days ago. I think it was right after you guys helped those group, uh, those people in the old Silbon Helix. A few of us resisted and got through in prison, or got thrown in prison. I'm the only one left alive. You have to get me and my brother out of here. Don't worry, my ship. Uh, don't worry. Empower us. We have one to beam up. We've got a problem. Someone in the station activated a magnetic shield. It's blocking all of our attempts to use the ship's transporters. We had civilians who were trying to get to the ship, but now they're stuck too. We need to get to that transporter room, shut down the shield, and save any civilians that need our help. All right, grab a weapon. You're with us. If we want some firepower, we can grab some equipment that Tashar we're using. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Ah, here it is. Ah, oh, good, a kit. Ah, it's a meta kit. Tell you what, the voices are not that good here. Let me go ahead and change a few things here. Uh, be right back. Okay, I think that will work for now.
uniforms seem to be different. Oh well, I guess each one uh, signifies a different uh, response. Okay, let's head back to engineering. Brother! I won't let them get away with this! That's a spirit. Well, let's get out of here. See if we can actually get some. Oh. Well, shame that we had to kill all these uh, other Romulans, but they're trying to kill us. And just what I thought. Quite a bit of resistance. Oh, Jesus. Checking. Alrighty. Those are taken care of. Oh, man. A Mo guy? We're gonna blow that thing apart, right? Ah, uh, be our back, guys. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to take care of quite a lot, and I did something nice. Okay, so we are heading down here. Alright, transporter room. And oh Jesus. Ah! Stunned! No, 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 no! Let's prepare for a mass transport. Alright, ship's ready. Let's go ahead and beam up. We need to get everyone back to the ship. There are enemy vessels inbound, and the ship is trapped in a tractor beam. Rescuing these colonists won't mean a thing if our ship is blown to pieces. Yeah, that's true. Let's beam back to the ship. say so. Well, oh, is it a Daredex? Do you think you can actually win? Yeah, it's a De Daredex, alright. It is a battle cruiser.
That wasn't so hard. That'll show those Toshiar what happens when they cross us. If I see that Harkiv again, I'll make sure he loses more than an eye. Okay, yeah, that's nice. I can't thank you enough for the help back there. I don't have much left now that LaHaze is gone. I'm good with a weapon, and I know my way around a ship. I'd be honored to stay aboard and help you fight the Tal Shiar. Okay, well, welcome aboard. I can't exactly, you know, deny that. Let's warp out. We have to stop the Tal Shiar. We had to expect this eventually. The Talshar are actually moving to stop us from gaining more followers, and even Hakif is involved. The bad news is that we lost Gasco sta uh, Station. The good news is that the Talshar is taking our movements seriously. That means we're gaining momentum. I'm going to talk to Detan. I think it's time to take a real step, a uh, real steps forward, uh, tr freedom. Ah, deflector dish and a new singularity core. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Alrighty. Now then. Uh, alrighty. Ooh, yeah, this is going to help. And definitely a new warp core is better. Tired of flying around at warp 5. Or, sorry, singularity core. Well, it is warp core, but still. Let's add up the skills. All right, the search for new Romulus. Thanks to additional information from the colonists from Gasco and Helix, we managed to identify several possible systems that could have planets for our colonization effort. We'll need you to scan these systems, see if these there is a suitable planet, and then explore said planet to confirm your findings. You're looking for what will be the future homeworld for Romulus. We've also been told by Federation and Klingon officials that talks for an alliance could begin if we identify a suitable planet to colonize. Detan and I will be speaking with those officials while you're exploring. This could be the next big step in our fight for independence. Alrighty. I'm not afraid of the top. Shut up. Okay. First task is go to the Galorndon uh, core system. Okay. We're now entering the Galorndon core system, a geologically unstable, uninhabitable planet. Galordon core orbits a class K star with a magnitude of plus seven. The planet is beset by constant electromagnetic storms that interfere with sensors and transporters. In addition, prolonged exposure to the planet's intense magnetic field will result in synaptic breakdown. Away teams are advised to use caution. In 2366, a Romulan scout ship crashed on the planet's surface. The Starfleet vessel USS Enterprise was sent to investigate and recovered a single survivor from the crew. And that's my dog. Alright, dropping out of warp. Oh. We're not dropping out of warp. We're scanning. Okay, initial scan. Uh, initiating scan now. Preliminary reports are turning up negative, Captain. We could perform a more in-depth scan, but that could take nearly a week. Launching a satellite would allow us to monitor the area and move forward. Your orders. 
launch the satellite and continue forward. Our next stop is uh, Gamma Eridon System. Eight. All right, we are now approaching the Gamma Eridon System. A, barren, a binary star system with twin in-class stars, the Gamma Eridon System has no inhabitable planets. Deposits of uh, topoline and dilithium have been found on Gamma Eridon. Eridon 2 and Riemann miners have been dispatched to the system to investigate whether large-scale mining operations are economi economically feasible. In 2368, a Federation fleet blockade uh, blockading Romulan's uh, space during the Klingon Civil War retreated to the system after their tachyon detection grid failed. Let's go ahead and scan. Hmm. We can't get a clear reading from the planet that Tamer specified. Our best option will be to drop out of warp and investigate the area. Are you ready? Let's go ahead and drop out. Nausicaan ships, dead ahead. They were jamming our sensors. That's why we couldn't get a clear reading on this area. It's an ambush. They're hailing us. Probably to gloat. Pirates like these only care about scrapping the ship for parts and selling any survivors to the Orions. Should I open the channel? Uh, no. Red alert. Where? Oh, there's gonna be more. A better cloak. Not Tall Shiar, it's the Nausicans. What's next? Iconians? We were able to get a few scans of the planet during combat. It's no good. The wildlife is too hostile and the natural resources too few. That leaves us with one last system the Dewa system. Dewa 3 shows some promise. We can leave orbit whenever you're ready. Yeah, let's go ahead and get out of here. Ah, Noskins, what's next? Iconians? Well, yeah. Okay, we're entering uh, into the Dewa 3 system. Oh, or the Dewa system. Dewa 3, radiation levels and seismic instability on the only M class planet in the system. Dewa 3 indicates that there was a worldwide cataclysmic event in the world's distant past. It will take more. Study to d determine exactly what happened. Let's go ahead and uh, drop out of warp. We have confirmation of a suitable planet. I'm patching us through to Tamer now. He'll want an update on the situation. I'll connect you as soon as you're ready. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Excellent work, Lieutenant. You should head to Dewa 3 and set up some orbit probes. Or orbital probes, and then beam down to investigate the surface. I'll set a course to the Dewa system and keep an eye out for any more Nausicans. Dewa 3 is one of our last chances to find a, a habitable planet in this region. Good luck. Alright, Kev, set a course. Dewa 3. This could be the new Romulan homeworld. The radiation levels of this planet made it uninhabitable, but long-range surveys have detected drops in the toxicity over the past few years. Our orders are to deploy sensory probes to scan the planet, and if they return positive, beam down for a closer look. Alrighty, let's go ahead and do that. Let's deploy a probe. Probe Alpha is good. Let's head to Beta. 
Uh, okay, Pro Beta is launching. Alright, and Pro Gamma. What the hell? A real warrior never lets his prey Ah, <sighs> they're annoying indeed. Nausicans. I hope that's the last we've seen of them. The reports from the probes confirm that radiation levels have lowered on the planet. An away team without protective gear should be safe. There don't seem to be any civilizations down there either, but we'll have to beam down to explore the area further. Are you ready to transport? There are several teams that will beam down to other parts of the planet while we explore. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Wow. Look at this place. It's beautiful. Our orders from Tamer are to analyze the local wildlife, flora, and minerals, as well as any bit of radiation. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and start scanning. Okay. Yeah, it's an old bridge. What's that? Tholians. What are they doing here? We should ask them. Tholians. Just what we needed. Tholians are known for not caring very much about us humanoids. I don't think they even know the difference between a Romulan and a Reman. The ship isn't detecting any more Tholian ships in orbit, but with our luck, that'll change. We should see what those Tholians are after. If this is going to be our planet, they can't take it from us. Well, let's go ahead and make sure that doesn't happen. Okay, let's head towards this way, I think. Apparently there are some nearby ruins we need to investigate. Wow, they're all running. Yeah, some old ruins, all right. This way. I know I'm supposed to go elsewhere, but what's over here? Guess nothing. Alright. Is yours? I don't think so. All right, Tholians. The Tholians seemed interested in those rocks back there. Should we check it out? Yeah. Let's go ahead and head over here. Watch out! More Tholians inbound. Holy crap. More on the way, sir. Why are they so interested in this site? I don't know. No idea. We'll find out once we have a second. One more group inbound, and it looks like they're sending one of their commanders.
Tholians wanted whatever is buried in those rocks. Let's see what's beneath them. Ah, oh, jeez. That was actually a bit of a tough fight. I was actually kind of getting afraid that I wouldn't make it. It's some sort of fragment in there. Appears to be a sword fossilized in the secretion layer. Trying to scan it now? Wait, this is incredible. This, there is definitely a blade here, and its composition and size matches those of Vulcan blades from about 1900 years ago. There are only a few examples of these weapons left. Most of them were destroyed during the time of awakening. Let's open a channel to Tamer and tell him about our findings in Atholian. The Tal Shiar is advancing on our allies. Great, Lieutenant. What have you found? Hmm. Interesting. The sword could prove to be something unbelievable. Maybe even something f made by Shar uh, Shaharn, I think. I'm concerned about the Tholians in being a full scan of any other, other ships in orbit. Or beginning. Okay. Uh, yeah. Can you get this to Titan? Uh, yes, we should. Hold on. We're under attack. It's the Tholians. Go red alert. All hands prepare for battle. How many are there? I won't be forced into a bad situation. Okay, Tamara has closed the channel, sir. I'll have the geode and the blade transported to the science lab aboard the Empavidus. We should return to the ship as soon as possible. Tamara will need our help. Let's beam to the ship. We have to stop the Tal Shiar. Lieutenant, we managed to take out a few Tholian ships, but now we're trapped in within one of their webs. There are more Tholians on their way. We got to take out the nearby Tholians to get out of here. Understood? We'll handle it. Ooh, there they are. Thank you. We don't have time to relax, however, I'm picking up a large Tholian ship leaving war. Get ready, the Tholians have some of the most advanced technology in this quadrant. And they never back down. We'll need to work together to survive. We're ready. Oh, Jesus.
have new orders for you. Alrighty. Oh god. <laughs> they really did a number to me. Alright, excellent work, Lieutenant. Hopefully the Tholians will stay away. What did you find? Is it possible to, for us to colonize the planet? Let's explain. By the elements, a habitable planet and one of Sharon's uh, lost blades. That could only mean that this planet must be the one of the worlds our ancestors visited after the Sundering. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see here. Um, okay, I left off there. I knew that their path could have taken them in this area, but I never. I'll have to speak to M uh, Mivek. She's always had an interest in our history. You should go uh, get to the flotilla and speak to Titan. He'll want to know everything you found. Alrighty, let's go ahead and return to sector space. Okay, there he is. Jolan True, you found something incredible. This will be the new home of the Romulan Republic. It will be Mole Rehan, new Romulus, and we will create a new way of life there. This is exactly what we needed to begin talks with the Klingons and the Federation at Kittimer. Unless you have any more questions, I would report to Tamer. I have many preparations to make. Well, how does this impact the Federation and Klingons? We will need allies to help with the colonization. It's likely that the Federation will be willing to help with this. We also cannot settle on New Romulus without the goodwill of the Klingons, given how close we are to their space. If they would be willing to lend us a small portion of their military might, we would be safer from the Tal Shiar. After that, if Empress Sela continues her attacks, she will be doing it against a new civilization, not a band of rebels. That will make all the difference. Well, can you confirm the identity of the sword we found? We don't know yet, but we do know it is as old as the Sundering and uses materials like those of the Vulcan Swordmasters. So that narrows it down a bit. The Sundering tore our people apart, but it also unified the Romulans under a common cause. The preservation of our emotions and our freedom. If this is truly the sword of the Raptor Star, it could help to once again unify the Romulans under the cause of preserving the freedoms we hold dear. Alrighty then, let's go ahead and talk to Tamer. Or, oops. There we go. We're counting on you. Alright, good work, Lieutenant. I knew you were the right person for this job. It will take us a long time to analyze the sword we've you found. We have to be very careful with something like this, but even the possibilities of fighting the sword of the Raptor Star has given everyone on the flotilla hope for the future. Your role is not isn't done yet, however, Datan and I both want you to be with us for our next task, meeting with the Federation, Klingons, and Empressila on Kittimer to talk about peace and the colonization of New Romulus. Alright. Dual beam banks and plasma dual cannons. I'll take the dual cannons any day. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Alright, well that's about it for now. It's gonna be a bit of a long road. But until then, I'll catch you guys next time. And as always, stay safe, watch your six and thank you for watching.